Today at the Duke Truck Center, we've got the guys from Tenneco here today, and we're doing some reverse engineering on this tractor here. And a lot of content on the on the chassis. We've got some cylinders, we've got some exhaust, we've got some fuel systems, some uh, frame rail structure. But right now, we've got to track the outside perimeter of this door opening, and this is a perfect example of a 3D scan that would be a freehand. Uh, it's it's got some contour around the corners here, and we we dip in toward the top of this B pillar and up by the windshield or the A-pillar. So I'm going to track this as a 3D freehand scan. And of course, I'm going to put the arm into scan mode with the X hotkey. And we've got 4.0 up today with an SAT file. So let me get set up here a second and then jump into the SAT file with me as we track this 3D freehand scan. Now, as you can see in my SAT file here, I've got some of the content you can see from a side view. We've already put the the underbody or everything that we've tracked so far we've put into a coordinate system so I've got a side view up and what I'd like to do now is I'm gonna go right to the measure menu and I'm gonna go down to scan now notice here the top option I have is called freehand scan and then up in the type here on the dialog box I like the radio button the freehand that's a 3d and then I'm gonna check this chordal option here and just wait till the end of the video. I've got three, three options here in these dialog boxes that I'll explain at the end. There's a lot of discussion that goes into these three options here. So let me go like this. I'm just going to change the cylindrical tolerance zone here to a tenth of a millimeter. Maximum distance, I'll change that to a tenth as well. And then minimum distance to a tenth. Okay. And I'm going to scan this as an open polyline. And I'll say OK to that. Now, notice down in the bottom left of my screen, it's telling me that single point mode is selected. Now, 100% on all of my scans, I like to hit the X toggle key. Notice what happens here. I've got the scan mode selected right now. So every time I move past that uh, tenth of a mil, I'm going to be tracking another point. So now that I'm set up for that, I'm going to grab the arm. I'm just going to let it counterbalance down. You notice we've got our protector on there. We've been crawling all over this vehicle. We've been underneath. We've been on top and on the back. So it makes sense to protect the arm while we do that. Okay, now I'm in scan mode, and just for this portion of the example, I'm just going to track this bottom here, but truly, to get up there, I'll have to grab the ladder and get on up there. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to track this freehand scan of this seal carrier right here. So notice what I'll do is I'll just pick up on this area here, and as I hit the green button, you can hear multiple points being taken as I swipe through this pattern. Got a little bit of a seal difference here. I'm just going to let go of the green button, and then I'm just going to reposition the arm here for just a second, and then come back in, and I'm going to continue that scan by going around this way. And I'm just going to follow the bottom of the sill here, let go of the red or the green button as I kind of reposition this area here. This might be a little bit tough to see on the video. I'll thin myself up a bit and I will continue right through here. So starting and stopping the scan is no problem as long as you just let go of the, the green button. So I'll do here. There's a little transition on the seal. Now I'll head back up to this section here. And just follow this carrier on through. And I'll stop right there. And again, we're just kind of tracking this geometry here as a rough idea on where this opening is. So 3D freehand is good for that. We don't use it a lot for inspection, but for just tracking the perimeter of this opening, you can see I'm making some, some moves as I come and work my way through here, but that's okay. I just want to see where this rough opening is, and a 3D freehand scan is the best way to do that since I've got some movement in and out or cross car on this vehicle. So now that I've tracked as much geometry as I want to, I'm going to hit the red button now. And notice what happens in my SAT file. CAM2 will go out there and it'll solve for those points. I've got almost 23,000 points that it is solving for right now. 
Okay, now notice it's asking me if I'd like to keep the stream. Of course I say yes to that. I think that stream was amazing. And it's going to go out and it's going to solve for this. The dialog box for the results comes up as a free, D, a free hand 3D scan. And that's kind of tough to say unless I had one more cup of coffee. So free hand 3D scan. How's that? And then I'll say OK to that. And notice what appears up on the side view here. There you go. I'll zoom in just a little bit just to show that. And again, you can see in this area right through here, I've got some movement that happened as I was probably starting and stopping or as I was dragging along that carrier of the seal. But truly, from a side view, you can see just the perimeter of that door opening. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to continue the rest of this by jumping up on the ladder and add to that scan. But 3D freehand scan, we don't use it a lot, but it's very powerful when you just want to track some 3D geometry as a trace. So go ahead and try that on your system as well.